Hello beautiful Gemini and welcome to your love reading for June 2020 with me Julie Poole and this is good for your sun, your moon, your rising and you will find the links below to my website and booking if you want to book in. Right let's see who's with you, what's the main energy from the angels please in terms of love. Oh I say how lovely. Archangel Raziel with dreams, dreaming of that love. That is just lovely. Let's see what the tarot want to add. Tell me about Gemini for June, please. Oh, and happy birthday, those of you Geminis who have birthdays in June. All right, my darling. Let's have a look, see what is going on in terms of love. Love for Gemini. Oh, look, these are good. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. All right. So let's start off with Raziel and dreams. All right. In terms of the law of attraction, how am I going to draw love to me? And um, for those of you single, for those of you coupled, dreaming of that relationship where your significant other, uh, it's working, it's supportive, it's understanding. We support each other. We get each other. How can we improve it? So we're starting off, isn't it a beautiful card? We're dreaming of this joy, this connection, this love that we know, we absolutely know in every ounce of our being that we can have. So what's going on? We've got a, a new beginning coming in. We've got the endings of being on your own and struggling. We've got the endings of anxiety and sleepless nights and worry. Good, good. So these two, first of all, the Ace of Pentacles with the Four of Swords. This is a, a retreat card. You've taken a bit of a step back here, all right? Gemini, many, many people have used this situation with lockdown to really reevaluate. Am I in the right relationship? If I'm single, why am I single? Am I doing anything about it? Am I aligned with love? Am I looking in the wrong places? Am I repeating the same old patterns that I've had you know, all my life and I keep drawing to me the wrong people. You've been doing a lot of thinking and particularly in your dreams, you've been allowing your spirit to soar into that dream time while you're resting and thinking about what is it I truly want in terms of a relationship. That Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning and it is security, stability, that foundation is my relationship, if I'm in one, built on sand or is it built on concrete? Is it going to last? You've been really looking at where is the stability. And for many of you, and well done, they're just giving me this really strongly. For many of you, you've been working on your relationship with yourself. Because until you truly love you and appreciate you and know and understand and accept you, nobody else will. So you've been doing that work, building the relationship with yourself. And that is creating an upliftment, a surge forward. We've got two threes here together. Threes are the number of expansion and connections. So in a love reading, these are brilliant for us to see. So Gemini, three of cups. This is about spending time with your friends, with uh, your soul tribe, with your family, being around other people and collaborating with them. The Three of Pentacles is a card about working with others. So this is the time if you want a new relationship or if you are in a relationship that's going through a bit of a sticky patch, this is the time that you're collaborating with your close friends and talking it through. Talking it through and saying, you know, this isn't working or this being hard and you're having ideas about how you can improve it. For some of you, talking through how you can leave, leave it behind and move forward without them. And for those of you single, leaning on your friends to say, let's start going out more so that I have got the opportunity to meet someone because I'm not going to meet them at home sat watching telly. So you're talking it through. And for some of you, that can mean online dating, joining new social activities, getting out more. But for some of you, because it's next to the chariot and the five of pentacles, some of you are in a relationship that has been not working that well. OK, let's put it like that. And, you know, you know, if that resonates for you, that you're in that challenging situation where you're not really on the same page, it's not really happening. 
So you are wanting to come away from that. You're coming away from with a chariot, which is moving forward quickly in a balanced way, smoothly, easily. You're coming away from this sense of isolation, being left out, pushed out, feeling alone. Now, for some of you in relationships where your partner is just not taking any notice of you and you are feeling very, very lonely, this can be the time you don't have to leave to actually mm, find a connection. You can find that connection within yourself um, and say, OK, I don't need to feel lonely because my partner isn't available. If I am whole and complete in who I am, then I can feel in a strong place and I can take that forward by building my independence and my sense of self so that I don't feel left out, pushed out because my partner's forever off doing something else, doesn't want to take me with him or her um, or is always head in a book or head in work and avoiding me and I'm feeling lonely. So some of you could be doing some work on that internally so that you can detach and that it doesn't bother you so much anymore. Others of you are using this to move away from that relationship and let it go. You've taken that time to really evaluate, is this relationship really in my highest good and good for me? And those of you it is, you know, all relationships go through ups and downs and we expect that. We need to be realistic about that. But if your relationship is toxic and yucky, which is what this is all about, then it's time for you to do something about it. It's time for you to end that. That's the card of betrayal, of feeling just stressed out of my brains, really unhappy. And with it coming with this as well, lonely, pushed out, um, just not feeling it, mate, just not feeling it. This is the time where you can take action and do something about it. Because that nine of cups is the wish fulfilled card. So we start with dreams and we're ending up with one of my dreams coming true, coming to fruition. So what is the dream for you? This is a general read, so it's going to encompass those of you single wanting a relationship, those of you coupled who want to stay and those of you coupled who want to go. So take the bits that resonate and leave what doesn't. But the, uh, the energy here is about... If I want a relationship, I can have it. I can let go. I can move forward away from singledom, feeling lonely, feeling isolated, feeling like nobody loves me and nobody cares. I can absolutely move into that and have that wish fulfilled because I've dreamed about it. I've focused on it. I've intended it. I have looked at any blocks and barriers within me that are in the way and I've dissolved them. I've done the work for that foundation to be secure. And now I can move forward and I'm using my friends and family and support to be able to do that. All right. So we are coming away from these two negative cards and we're moving into a much more positive, uplifted, happy, happy space. So Gemini, I hope this helps. I hope this resonates for you. If it does, please do give it a thumbs up, a like, a share. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe and click that bell so you don't miss a thing. All right, my darlings, you have a lovely month and I will see you for the weeklies, which are posted the end of every week and for the general um, guidance, angelic guidance for the month. Take care. Lots of love. Bye bye.